everyone. Oh my gosh. So this is 2019's first instalment of Alicia, who is Call Me Crafty Al's also inspired collaboration. Can you believe it already? January. I can't believe it's been a year. So now let me think. This month, our inspiration was a Pinterest post and it was a vellum shaker pocket and I thought you know I actually really like these and I'm going to make one to put inside a journal sometimes I take the inspiration and I change it or I take a piece from it but I thought no I'm going to make one of the actual inspiration pieces this month now everyone who has taken part in the collaboration will be linked down below there is also the exciting information about how you can join in this collab now which is super exciting i done a, a video yesterday saying how you can join in and things and i've linked alicia's video in that um video if you want to go over and check it out but there will also be a link in this video as well so that is super exciting guys because you guys can now take part so thank you so much alicia for letting me join in again this year it's absolutely fantastic i love 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 this collab and i love being part of it so this month excuse this messy mat look at the state of that guys i really need to get a new mat However, what I've done is I've got this piece of vellum, just this um, opaque, well it's kind of opaque, you can see through it a bit, vellum. It's nice and thick, heavyweight. And I'm going to make this pocket. So I have made a pocket letter for a challenge and I had these bits and pieces out so I thought, you know what, I actually really like this. So I'm going to use this topper on the front. And also guys, the inspiration piece... I haven't said, I don't know if I've said this already there, but the inspiration piece that we're working from will also be in the description. So you can go on and get your own inspiration from it as well, which is really cool. So I've got that piece and I've also got this one here, which I really, really like. It says life is pretty amazing, which is true. And I think that goes nice with the wildlife because look at that bird. So I think I'm going to put that one there as well. And... Hmm. Right, I'm going to leave that like that just now to see. So, open it up and I have these sequins. Now, I've picked out these ones because these are like the sort of most neutral ones that I have. The rest of them are kind of like brights and all different colours. So these ones are quite... I'll take this off. Take the glare away. The ones are quite neutral. So, I want to pop some of these in. I'll put some of the cream ones in. These are really nice as well for making as your dashboards and your TNs. Or your planners. Put some of the white ones in. Oops. Some of those ones in. I'm not putting in too many because I'm going to sew this. So I need to be able to sew around the edge of it. We'll put some of them in. And then I've got this one jar full of butterflies. I've had this for such a long time and I didn't really use it a lot. But I've got a nice gold one. Gold butterfly. That's cool, eh? Like that. Pop that in. And I've also got a pink one. Now, this is bright pink, but when it goes in the vellum, you'll not see it as much. So we'll put that in. Then, I'm going to pop all them in there. Like that. So you can still see them through. Now, let me think. How? What's the best way to do this? To sew it. Because I don't really want to sew through the sticky. I've never sewed through sticky before. You know, if I put sticky around the edge of there. And if I try and sew... Mm, maybe actually I could sew that. Just hold it steady. I'll try it and I'll see how I got on with it. Because I want to sew all the way around there. But I also want to sew that on the front of there. Because that was what was on the inspiration piece. And I really liked that. So I'm going to put that on and line that up there like that so that I can sew that all the way along okay we'll go with that and we'll see how that works okay I will sew it and I will be right back because I can't get my sewing machine in frame with this angle okay so I've run that through the sewing machine I like that look it's got the be flat that's nice so let's just take off the wee bits uh, straighten this up again there we go, that's a bit better. 
take off the threads. Oops. Like that. That's lovely. And you've got the, the shaker, even the butterflies move a bit as well. And then I want to put one of life's greatest blessings. Where am I going to put that? There, I think. So, I'll put that just underneath there, like that. And then there we go. Look how cool that is. And then all you have to do with that is punch a couple of holes or however many holes it is for your planner and you could have that like a dashboard on your planner you could put it in a journal I like that, I just like that for sending you could even just put on the back if you wanted um, some coffee dyed paper you know, make it an, uh, an insert for that I just think there's loads of things you could do with that you could actually fold that in half as well and have it as a page Yep, absolutely love that. So really, I'm going to make a few more of these. Great inspiration this month. Love it. So check out all the, all the information down in the description box, guys. I hope you've enjoyed what I've made this month. I've enjoyed making it. I just think it's lovely. You could even put like these secret messages under there. Yeah, I like that. Really cool. So thanks so much. Hit me a thumbs up, guys. And I will see you again for this collab next month. Bye-bye.